Hey guys, it's Kathy from RV Glamping Adventures. Wanted to share with you something that we think is really important. We're kicking off the RV season. We got a trip in a couple weeks and one of the first things I like to do is get the first aid kit together. So we wanted to share with you what we put together in our kit so you could think about your own and making sure you have one, making sure it's up to date, check the expiration dates, you know, and just sort of get your head around that so you can make sure you've got whatever you need in case of any kind of emergency. Uh, we like to get our own sort of little RV first aid kit together. Now you can go buy one at the store, there's plenty out there, but we like things that are sort of specific to some of our family's needs. So something I always like to have is a multitude of band-aids, different sizes, we even have blister band-aids for all the walking that we do, we have butterfly ba band-aids. To go along with that, um, we also have some cleansing wipes so we can keep any potential infection down if someone gets really hurt. And it's happened, so it's nice to have that stuff handy. Love to have rolled gauze and tape, you know, it's just, just in case. And what's helpful about that is you can always cut them down to different sizes, you know, if you need just something to cover up a, an area where there's a cut. Um, we like to have some different kind of painkillers. We have aspirin. You know, again, whatever your family uses, uh, bring that along with you. We also bring along, and important to remember, is your own medications. We've got a couple family members who can have asthma situations. They've got some severe allergies, so we like to bring along some inhalers and those kinds of things. I always like to bring some um, different types of cold medications, some nighttime and daytime, just in case. And, and this is a product that we just like to use in our family. Uh, we've got a natural, um, it's called Arnicare, Arnica ointment. It's a homeopathic pain reliever. We like to bring that along with us. We've done a video before on uh, the No Bite Me. It's a before and after, uh, sort of an all-in-one cream that's really effective on black, black flies, mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks. So that's a really great thing to have too. And again, that's all natural. Um, always like to have some hydrocortisone cream, you know, just in case of any kind of oh, bites or whatever you have, we've, we've had it all. Uh, along with an antibiotic cream, we like to bring that. Uh, one of my favorite little handy things, these little Neosporin spray and goes, those are great to have and throw in a backpack. Um, we love to bring along some, lots of different lip balms, especially that have an F SPF to it. A couple of our kids, we, we do have our canker sores now and then, our daughter has braces, so that's something important for us to bring along. Um, we also like to bring a bit of a splint. This actually came out of, Neil almost broke his finger once and we did a little splint action on that. So that's something I like to keep with us as well. Uh, it, a lot of this stuff comes out of past experience. I burnt myself, for example. This is a, a burn gel, fast acting. It's, it works even better than putting uh, you know, a burn under cold water. We definitely like to bring some antihistamines along with in case there's any kind of allergic reaction. You might also want to think about an Epi, EpiPen if someone in your family has some severe allergies, whether you know or you don't know, it's a great thing to have in your kit as well. Um, the Red Cross recommends some tweezers and scissors, comes in handy with your gauze or maybe trying to get out a splinter. Um, and then we always have probably about five of these. These I love these reusable cold and hot compresses. We usually keep them in the freezer in the RV and they're always getting used for something, with somebody getting hurt or whatever. Um, you know, and just think about what your family might need and if there's medications you need to fulfill before you go, you know, just to make sure you have, you know, you could be on the road and go get this stuff at a store, but like, let's say something happens and you need something lickety split, you get a good first aid kit together and you're going to be good to go. Just remember, a good vacation is being safe. 